today I will show you how to make tomato puree soup with just 4 tomatoes and some bok choy already cut and clean. First cut up the tomatoes you have cleaned and cut and throw away the unneeded parts like in any way you want as small as possible because we are going to make tomato puree so you will need a small size tomatoes. A whole bunch of tomato there. Heat it on 100 degrees Celsius and add some olive oil. I've added three tablespoons of olive oil. Don't know if you can see. And just let them be while we cut the vegetable. We are about to do the same damn thing we do on the pesto pasta because I don't really like vegetables. So I should let them be inside but not really taste it. Once in a while leave your cutting board for a while and mix the tomatoes so they don't get burned although they should not be in 100 degrees Celsius. When your vegetable look like this, your tomatoes probably look like this. Add some water up to your preference. If you like it thick, then don't add any. Like I said in a pesto video, when you see this greenish water, it means you have succeed. You don't have to reach this level for this, but I will. If you added some water, then you can double the temperature. I put it to 200 Celsius. Add some salt, chicken boiling powder, garlic powder, black pepper, liquid chicken boiler actually if you want the real tomato puree the authentic one you have to filter it when it reached this state before adding these ingredients but I'm not gonna so I film this later after all the seasonings you can mix it well while doing this like you're searching for the tomatoes that are left so they can be crushed well along with the others Then put the vegetable in. It gives a good color, green to red. And it's finally done, healthy tomato puree soup. Just make sure there's no more tomato chunks in there. Then move it into a bowl and it's ready to serve. Ta-da! It's ready to serve. It's gonna be so delicious and healthy at the same time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video, whatever I make. If you filtered it, there won't be any tomato skins or tomato fruit left, but I like it this way, so yeah. See you!